I have to admit that is one of my favorite of your thoughts uh, that, you know, the way you point out that the spiritual path, most people need to be forced onto yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, they, they lose a job, they lose someone, maybe they get sick. There's some kind of a, addiction or brokenness. And you have such a lovely phrase for that idea. What that is suffering it? It's just like a consequence of living. You called it necessary suffering. Oh, like, yeah. Like well, part no, of the that's who, I think that's from Carl Jung, too. I don't know. It doesn't matter. But I've used it a lot. You're right. I, um, I think what I, what I find so refreshing about it is, um, you know, I, I really hadn't thought that I was uh, somebody who really expected my life to get significantly better, but when it came apart so quickly, I was very surprised <laughs> and I, mm, yeah. I felt almost, um, I was, I'm embarrassed to admit that I felt almost like insulted. Like why, mm. you know, I thought I was as young uh, as you are. Yes. I just thought I, I'm, you know, don't I try, don't I work hard? Don't I, you know, like, don't I, don't I, don't I. And I, um, I think I just, one of the things I love so much about your work is, um, is it, it no longer makes it strange to, oh, to have come apart. Good, good. There is such a shame, I think, attached to suffering in our culture where you just there wonder, is. maybe I haven't just lost, maybe I'm a loser kind of feeling. Yeah. You know, um, you're probably aware if you've read me or listened to me, one of my favorite Catholic mystics is a saint we call the little flower. Yeah. And she said many wise things, died at the age of 24, yeah. and is a doctor of the church. I mean, that, if you know Catholic theology, that blows cardinals' minds that an uneducated French girl <laughs> could be a doctor <laughs> of the church. But she just said so many wise, wise things. And one of them that isn't so well known is she said, God knows all the sciences, but there's one science God does not know. Mm -hmm. God does not know mathematics. God knows nothing about <laughs> mathematics. <laughs> I love that. It's to the heart of the matter. Yeah. See, what we're all doing in the first half of life yeah. is counting, counting, measuring, weighing, deserving. I gave you this much. You give me back that much. As long as we're caught up in counting, yeah. uh, it's, it's a dead end. It really yeah. is. Yeah. And our capitalist countries have just furthered that as the framing. Yeah. This is the way you frame reality. It's about mathematics. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh, little Therese, she's taught me so much. I have a picture of her right here oh. to my side. The, the only quote I remember from her is uh, something along the lines of, um, uh, great, great acts will not be afforded to me. So I must, oh. you know, accept little things like, like um, little things like, with great love. love. Yes, that's, that's right. Her, that's why Mother Teresa took her as her patron saint oh. because of that. Of course, yeah. Mother Teresa ends up doing rather great things. Yeah. But she says, just do little things with great love. Yeah, flowers, flowers everywhere. 